This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Bill Morgan had to bail a little early, but he also wrote in and wanted to know, Jim Ross, do you think Triple H would start his own promotion? No. No. Why would he? Doesn't need the money. Right. Doesn't need There's the headache. This is like a ridiculous rumor that Jeff Jared and Conrad were going to start a wrestling company. Well, come on. That's not a rumor. That could be true. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> They're both a lot I... smarter. They're both a lot. Now, Jeff may, because he's had that experience. There's no way in hell Conrad would put up with bullshit. He has no patience. He's a businessman and a, and a very unbusiness like, uh, genre. Uh, but no, I don't think so. Uh, triple H has got all the money he'll ever need and his kids will ever need and their kids will ever need. And, uh, you know, his biggest issue right now, and I'm not sure where he stands on it. It's getting healthier. And I, for one wish him, he's got three kids, man. Well, I didn't like him on that angle of the sledgehammer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? He's got three daughters. I think they deserve for the daddy to be healthy and live a long life. Simple as that, man. So, uh, I don't think so. Though. My answer is no. Yeah. I don't see that one in the cards either. Although for me, I'll believe it when I see it on Conrad and Jeff Jarrett, I'm not ready to say that would never happen yet. And I need to know Jr. too, while the internet is debating about this was double J ever one of the four horsemen. Yes. No. What well, I guess think? he was at, uh, from a theatrical standpoint. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, where do they get letter jackets? I don't know. Uh, I don't see, I didn't see that rings. Uh, but on TV, he was sure. I guess no. Arn Anderson says no. Arn Anderson has the final say on this one. Fine and with me. I'm not going to down that hill, but the bottom <laughs> line is, is that, uh, the best horseman for me was Nate, Rick, uh, Nate, Tully, Arn, and then they always, the big question, who's the fourth guy? Is it Ole or is it Barry Wyndham? Mm -hmm. It was just for wrestling, Barry Wyndham, hands yeah. down. Yes. Uh, yes. For, for the sizzle and the newness, you know, Luger was a good addition because he looked great and he had a youth and a, and a big ass body to that group. But for me, my money, uh, and, and don't discount Ole's ability to uh, as a heel, he was a great heel, phenomenal heel. But, uh, I, I like, uh, I like Barry in that group because all I knew, look at the workers. If you're a booker or you're a talent relations guy, and you're looking at maximizing minutes for talent. There's four guys right there that can work with anybody in any environment, any environment, maybe face or heel cage matches, brawls, bloody matches, uh, TV time limit matches, whatever it may be. And that's what you're looking for in my old role. They can play multiple positions and play them all at an all-star level. All right. You and I are on the same page with that. There's no room for double J in the four horsemen. Well, Sorry, I didn't say that, but, but he was, <laughs> but I think on storyline wise, he was a, a horseman, but in yeah. my view, there's, there's only one set of horsemen that I categorize as, you know, real horsemen. Right. right. And that's the four I named. There you go. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.